The ladder drill is designed to work on footwork, putting our body and ourselves in the best position possible to feel the ground ball. So what we're doing here is each girl is going through the ladder and she's doing different variations of feet work. Some are doing high knees, some are going inside, outside. Our body changes direction as we feel the softball. So what we want to do is make sure when we're going through this and working with our feet as fast as possible, right when we finish, we put ourselves in the best situation possible to feel that ground ball. As Soon as she comes out, where, which way is the ball going? She's got to get in a, her body in the best position to feel that ground ball. Great. So what we're doing here is Laura was over exaggerating high knees, getting her getting her body in a different position. When a ball is hit, sometimes it goes right, left, right, left, and then back to then back to right. So we're doing several things to put our bodies in different positions. And then at the end of the ladder, when she finishes, which way is the ball going? Right. She's got to take that ball backhand and she's got to put her body in the best position possible. You're doing different types of agilities as you go through the ladders. One girl's doing high knees to over-exaggerate, high knees. Some are going back and forth to, to simulate the ball's headed backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. So we're trying to put our bodies in the most difficult and odd positions possible. And then on the last rung of the ladder, we have to figure out the ball's going this way and put ourselves in that way. The last rung of the ladder, it's backhand, put ourselves in that position. So we're doing different variations of agilities as we go through the ladder. This is another variation of the ladder drill. Uh, we are doing it head on instead of the girls facing forward, they're facing towards the coach. So again, this would be uh, just different versions or doing different types of agilities. Laura's got uh, high knees, foot in every single hole, and as soon as she comes out of the hole, we're doing all backhands. She's coming in and out, forwards and backwards out, out, of, the, out of the ladder. When she comes out, she knows the ball's coming backhand. She's gonna try to put herself in the best situation possible. Nice short hop backhand. If you mess up and get a cleat caught, you keep moving. When she comes out, she's going to do one backhand. Forehand. Good. And then once the position players finish backhand, they're going to take a ball forehand. So they're doing the same type a uh, different agility, but the same idea, different variations through the ladder. The last rung of the ladder, she needs to put herself in the best situation to feel that ground ball. Some are outside the shoulders, a lot of them are inside the shoulders. Something to be mindful of as you move through middle school and high school, um, if you can keep your eyes up and in the direction of where the hitter is, aka the coach throwing the softball, the better. Uh, some of these at this level are very complex. You can see a lot of different type of foot movement through the ladder. The more experienced you are and the more disciplined you are, your eyes should be up. There should be more feet work in the ladder and putting yourself in the best situation possible.